family. I'm in my clean workspace and my new chair that my husband got for me. And the chair is maybe a little too comfortable. <laughs> I got my tea and my garnet, but I'm laid back a little bit, like turning in the chair <laughs> and stuff, but at least I'm in a good mood to get started. So I want to kind of tell you guys the idea. There we go. Can y'all see me? I don't know if this was the best thing. Sorry, y'all. I didn't make sure I was fully, excuse me, set up because I was just excited. We're working on our garnets today. I'm super excited about it. So, um, I just want to tell you guys the idea behind it and then I'll show you uh, the process as I work through it myself because this is a custom. It is something I haven't made before. Um, so, it's exciting. So this garnet is going to be set in a prong setting. And I don't know if you guys can really see this on the back, but it has um there's like a straight across area where there's like a dip in it. Let's see if I can show you. So I want to create the prong setting or the seat to go right across here and then around the bottom and then I'm going to create a little almost like a triangular top to it to do my jump ring and I hope that made sense that was the best way I could explain it and then I'm going to do um, the settings for these first these are not going to be just regular posts earrings they are going to be dangle earrings with the garnet in them and i'm thinking of like a triangular shape um so i'm excited about that and i'm going to get some materials out and get started and i'll show you guys what i'm working with in a little bit peace okay let me show you guys where i am because i'm about to have guests come over uh so far i just tried to get to the first soldering spot on the earrings and necklace so this is one of the settings it doesn't look round right now because i need a nice straight flat solder joint like this they need to be touching like this and then this is what i have so far let's see if i can fit it in front of you Okay, so it's like this. It's gonna sit in there and then I'm gonna attach another piece up there. So I'll show you guys when I get this cut and filed and fitted and all that. I'll come back, peace. Peace, so I was slightly struggling with this. But I got it. I got it. You see that silver? Hugging the back of this stone. It is hugging. Okay. Hugging. So Peace. now what I'm going to do. There's Mimi's. What I'm going to do is I'm going to continue it up to a point. So it's going to connect on these two like corners. This is how it looks in the front so far. So I'm going to do that part and then we'll do some prongs. And we're getting there. It took me, I had to solder this, I think, three times. I made it and then it was too big and then I made it and it was like slightly too big. Like, could I, uh... And now it's hugging, baby. So I'm excited. And then I have these soldered. So I'm just gonna hammer them to the correct, um, you know, circular shape. Excuse the noise in the background. 
the wind is blowing super hard outside. So I'm gonna use my mandrel. I think they're too big for this mandrel. I have two of these um, bezel mandrels. But let me do that off camera. I'll show you guys when I make a little bit more progress. Peace. Peace, family. <clears throat> um, I want to show you guys. I didn't record while I was uh, soldering because I'm just kind of trying to catch up on work. But I do want to show you what I have so far. So I do think I need to adjust this to make it look more centered from the front. This is what we have so far in the back. So I love how it's hugging. The crystal has a nice little seat. What I'm going to do is hammer it down flatter and really just file and shape it up and make it look real fine. And then... Um, I'm gonna make some grooves for the prong. So I'm thinking of doing a prong like four. One, two, three, four. Um, that's where I'm at right now. But we shall see. I might do like right in these grooves. That might be cool too. So it's evolving. Sometimes customs take a little longer because I'm figuring it out as I go. I'm kind of letting the crystal lead me. I got to follow it. It's a raw crystal. So it's not like, um, like this, like a cabochon cut and polished where I just follow the shape, but it's an easier shape or like this one where it's like flat on the bottom. I can make just a bezel you know real quick or whatever i mean it's not quick it's it's all work but the customs open me up they challenge me which is cool so i'm definitely not complaining i also had to redo this little setting because it was a little bit too big for the stone you really want it to kind of hug the stone so sometimes you got to make these little ones over again and what I do is, now that it's soldered, see, I had to have a flat end to solder it. Now I'm going to round it out and use my mandrel to make sure that it's a perfect circle. And then make sure that it fits on my other garnet. Um, I am going to be making kind of triangular shaped um, earrings. With these I'm super excited that's also why I chose to do kind of like a pointed top of the necklace so that they will you know go together so this is like six millimeter which is the smallest millimeter on this mandrel so yeah it takes a little bit to get it nicely rounded out and while trying to hold it on the mandrel <laughs> as well so i just wanted to show you guys where i'm at uh or where i am i think now i will do my triangle shapes for the earrings and I'm gonna hammer this down, make it just a little more flat, file the inside, make sure it's really hugging, hugging on that stone. And um, and then I'll start working on where the prongs are gonna be and I'll come back and give you guys some progress. Peace. Okay, y'all, I'm feeling it. <laughs> so let me just show you guys. It looks a lot cleaner now. It's gonna get dirty again because we have to solder the prongs. I hope y'all can see that. And the stone is sitting in it. I hope y'all can see that. So that is going to help me make sure that once I add the prongs and close them in, the stone is not going anywhere. Necklaces need to be really sturdy. And sometimes with prongs, you know, 
you want it to look delicate and stuff but i want the prongs to hold it down so having a seat for the stone is really really good but i'm loving how it's looking i like how it's hugging the stone i like the shape of the overall necklace it's not perfectly symmetric i mean but it's as close as i can get and so that's what a raw stone will do for you it's going to push you outside of your um box i'm gonna stare at it <laughs> for a little bit and just see where i want the prongs to go um i have a few ideas i'm thinking they can come, it's hard to show you guys because it doesn't focus from like here and same place on the other side. Um, or I can bring it down a little bit and have it come from here. But I feel like here will give it more of a good anchor and hold. So anyway, I'm gonna stare at it for a little bit um, while I am lowering my two little settings and then i'm gonna start on the outside like triangular shape of these earrings and hopefully it's all gonna come together beautifully i'm super excited to get finished and get pictures and videos and send them to my client who i love so thank you guys for watching i'll be back in a bit peace I just wanted to show you guys the difference once I lower the settings. See, this one hasn't been lowered. This one is lowered now. You can see the top of the stone is coming out a little more. It's going to be a really nice um, hug on the stone and highlight of the stone. You can get different sizes of bezel wire, but this is the smallest size. There's also like a taller one for taller stones and there's all kind of you know fancy ones as well so i just wanted to show you guys kind of a close-up of the difference when i say i'm lowering my bezels this is what i'm doing and um i'm just using sandpaper it does seem like dang that's a lot of silver that's gone see my sandpaper but i just put it in a baggie i'm pretty sure there's a way to use silver powder i just haven't learned it yet <laughs> but i just keep all my resources um this year things i want to do is melting and creating my own sheet and wire um and my new torch is going to help me with that this week i'm actually going to the jewelry shop so he can just kind of show me how to use the new torch one thing that you want to do is make sure that you're being safe and learning all the safety precautions how to check for leaks and stuff like that because i haven't used that type of um torch before so for now i'm still using my home depot torch but soon you guys will see the new torch and maybe i'll record a little bit of my visit over there so thank you guys so much for watching and uh, i'll be back in a minute <laughs> peace Peace. I just wanted to show you guys um, the earrings. They're not earrings yet. <laughs> but I made one triangle. And with earrings, <clears throat> you be working, man, because what you're trying to do is create this same exact thing twice. So uh, it's a challenge for sure. So I'm using the same wire that I used for the setting on the um the bigger garnet on the necklace this is 16 gauge round sterling silver wire and so i just want to show you before i cut this one that i just fold it i shape it and these are they're pretty close they'll they'll be closer as time goes on but as long as i have the base pretty close um i'm happy with it sorry i don't know if there's any good way to show you that they're pretty close in size and corners are meeting and i'll get them as precise as i can um once i get them soldered and stuff so i'm gonna cut this one just like this one and then 
if you look at the ends i have to file these ends nice and flat so that they will be touching and look like one piece for soldering so i'll come back um in a bit peace okay guys i'm about to take a little break so i just want to show you where i am okay so my pendant here is looking nice and clean i cut out these prongs and i think i know where i'm gonna put them also made its little loop hold on it's hard for me to do it in front of the camera well not in front of the camera but looking at the camera looking through the camera so that's gonna get soldered um, I have to make the little grooves for my prongs. Here are the earrings. I f it took me some time to see, you know, how I really wanted to do them. But I think this is going to be really pretty. And I think she's going to love them as I do, hopefully. Um... I had an idea of some earrings. Actually, I had her look at a few different earrings that I've made before and let me know what she likes. And then uh, with customs, it's always what you like, what you're asking for, what you think you want. I ask a lot of questions to see like what your style is. And then it's going to be what you ask for mixed with, you know, my design and style and skill set. So... This is how it's looking for now. Um, I got to get these. Before I solder these, these little pieces here, I'm going to hammer down and file or sand down so they look nice and neat. I like one good piece, just like I did for this one. So I'll come back and show you guys more in a bit. Peace. Okay, peeps. We made it to the tumbler, amen. It's like 10 p.m. Besides taking a break to go eat with my family, I've been in here all day, but I'm happy with how everything looks so far. Let's see if I can show you earrings. I love them. I definitely think I'm gonna make more of this kind of style maybe with different patterns and different stones so those are the earrings and here is the pendant Let's see if i can get it right where i want it I am feeling quite accomplished. All right, I'm gonna kind of show y'all. So that's it for now. Not set, of course. I'm gonna let these tumble overnight and Tomorrow we'll set the stones and it's supposed to be rainy tomorrow So I probably won't get any good pictures or videos until the day after but thank you guys so much for watching me um, Make these garnet pieces and I'll show you guys what they look like at the end Peace Grand rising peeps. Let's see what our jewelry looks like coming out of the tumbler this is like oh you know what i should have hold on okay my bad y'all there was no way to get that off one-handed but i just want to say like this is one of my favorite parts of making jewelry <laughs> because all soldering has happened you have cleaned you have paid attention to detail you have worked hard okay and now it's getting a little beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. This is the one of the best parts. These look like some earrings that I would wear. 
I hope she loves them. So excited. So excited. All of my hard work. This kind of looks like a pumpkin. Maybe for Halloween I'll do some of these and put some faces or something. You know. But this is going to be stunning. I'm so excited. I just want to share that moment with you guys. So I got some stones to set before my kids and my husband wake up. So see you guys soon. Peace. These beauties are going back in the tumbler after stone setting and cleaning up. And I got to admit, I'm in love. <laughs> okay guys um <clears throat> let me show you guys the necklace real quick before i solder so i just made little jump rings these are jump rings it's just 18 gauge round wire and i'll just wrap it around and then i saw kind of a straight line easy way to make those so i just made this jump ring and this jump ring so now I have to solder them. If you can see the line right there. I'm going to solder that closed. Same on this one. It's right here. Solder that closed. Um, I always make sure that my clasp works. That I put on there. Sterling Silver Clasp. So we are almost there. Let me put this stone in real quick. Just let you guys see. Um, this is going to go in the tumbler so it's not fully clean. It came out of the tumbler and I had to do some other stuff to it. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> oh. Alright. So the stone is actually sitting in the seat, which I love. So I still have to clean it up a little bit, but as you can see, it is sitting in its seat. Prongs are as low as I want them. The two prongs at the top are shorter than the bottom prongs, but overall, I'm feeling quite happy with it. So I'm just going to clean it up with the flex shaft. Um, solder those jump rings, put it back in the tumbler, and today is a rainy day, so I have to wait till tomorrow to show you guys, like, videos and pictures and stuff, but I'm in love. I'm so happy that they came out this way. I'm grateful for each and every custom, each and every person who decides to support my business and really trust me for a custom you're putting trust in me to create something that you will love um, with your guidance and your finance. And I appreciate, I just appreciate that. I appreciate you giving me a chance to do what I love, to build my skills, to support my family, and to be creative. So thank you guys so much for watching. I thank you guys for being interested in watching me do this. Um, it's interesting to me, but... I'm always surprised that the feedback that I get in the comments and stuff that is interesting to more than just me. So thank you guys for being here. I hope you are happy and healthy and doing well. And you guys be blessed. Peace. Okay, family. Here they are. All done. I'm in love. So excited. I think they came out great. You guys let me know what you think i'm gonna get a couple pictures and send them on over thanks so much for watching y'all be blessed peace